It eliminates unpleasantness for passengers in the cabin thanks to its refined driving dynamics and potent engine. Additionally, there are numerous splashy features and a large interior. It, its most recent version, which debuted just last year, featured brand new technology, improved powertrains, and an interior that was even more expensive than before. The availability of a third row, a first for the Range Rover, was probably the most significant news. With its long wheelbase, third row seating, and P400 engine, we tested the Range Rover SE. There are a number of useful tools at your disposal in the event that you attempt to take your Range Rover off-road, including two locking differentials, an impressive maximum ground clearance of more than 11 inches, and five terrain driving modes, including weight for navigating rivers. In this instance, the Range Rover's comfort-oriented settings include somewhat loose steering and a suspension that allows for noticeable body lean when cornering. Even though the brakes are strong, some luxury SUVs with three rows can stop from 60 miles per hour in less time. All-wheel steering is standard, which means that the rear wheels will turn in the opposite direction of the front wheels to make it easier to turn at low speeds. It's especially helpful when parking. The Range Rover's air suspension is the highlight of the vehicle. Our test vehicle had 23-inch wheels, which are usually bad for comfort and ride quality because they need low-profile tires. However, the suspension eliminated almost all road imperfections. Find great deals on a used Range Rover near you. We liked how easily it could be adjusted, and it had a great driving position. For veterans of the Range Rover, the problem is the same. The Range Rover system does a good job of handling addresses, but it has trouble with points of interest and lacks natural language functionality, unlike many of its competitors. The technology from other places impresses. The turn-by-turn -turn directions and maps are easy to understand, and if you prefer, you can connect wirelessly to Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. The suite of advanced driver aids with a smooth adaptive cruise control system is another strength. The Range Rover's subtle use of lane centering steering, which can frequently be irritating in modern automobiles, felt smooth and helpful. The cargo space in our test vehicle's three-row Range Rover is a little disappointing. It has only 8.7 cubic feet of space behind the third row, which is less than half the space of a Mercedes GLS and far less than the Lincoln Navigator or Cadillac Escalade, both of which have extended wheelbase versions that are larger than the Range Rover. The vehicle's standard mild hybrid system significantly improves fuel economy for such a large and heavy vehicle. On our 115-mile evaluation route, the Range Rover SE achieved 21.3 mpg, which is in line with the EPA's estimate of 21 mpg combined. The car exudes style, luxury, and exclusivity, but our enthusiasm was dampened by questionable interior plastics and constant road creaking. The basic warranty and drivetrain protection offered by Land Rover each have an average warranty coverage of 4 years and 50,000 miles. However, this is the standard for large luxury SUVs in the industry. Although driving the Range Rover isn't particularly enjoyable, it never fails to have presence. The car's elegant exterior looks like it was cut by a glacier and the standard air suspension dramatically lowers the car when you get close.